Well, Rapid Line is born out of the idea that we need to put more effort into marketing films from outside the mature territories of Europe and North America. So we want to show you films that you wouldn't necessarily see on the circuit and films that you'd never hear about in Hollywood or anywhere else. But nonetheless, these are great films. So it's putting a spotlight on the filmmaking that we know is amazing and that we understand to not be getting the sort of limelight that it deserves. So it's excellent films done by amazing filmmakers and we just want to shine a spotlight on that. And I mean, Rapid Lion is literally us catching up to the mature territories and we're basically your Khan and Oscar of Africa. People can look forward to like a, a great time and uh, literally a celebration of African cinema like you've never seen before, African and brick cinema. So I mean our very opening film is an amazing film by um, by Mantra Dumbe, it's called Kalushi, the story of Solomon Matlam. And immediately after that, after the festival, the film is going to screen at Still Chemical. So we're going to show it once at opening night and then it's going to show once more at the festival. Um, and we have great films from Bricks as well. So like what comes to the top of my mind right now is Trinta from Brazil. Um, and then we have films from the rest of Africa. What really like pops up at the moment is Timbuktu from Mauritania, which audiences just like can't possibly miss those films and of course we're showing about seven to seven films at the festival and our lineup will be up soon on our website so you must definitely look out for that but there's just really really amazing film we have comedic shots we have thrillers we have feature length um, dramatic films we have documentaries and what we're really trying to do is diversify the genre of filmmaking that happens in Africa and to move out of the stories of apartheid, you know, um, and of colonial rule and all of those other serious issues. And to really talk about other aspects of our humanity, that we are people that fall in love and we laugh and we enjoy a good time as well. So to get really a nuanced idea and a fuller story about who we are as a people and to just like, tell stories that matter because our happiness also matters and as much as all the other sad things that happen to us matter too. We're hoping to reach like a lot of people. We we have plus minus 700, I mean just over 700 people can be seated at the market theatre um, at any given point in time. So we have lots of festivities that are, going to be, that are going to be happening. So really those eight days of like great filmmaking, we're expecting 700 plus people every single day enjoying the very best of African and brick cinema and we want people to come out like literally in their thousands. We really hope this festival is going to shine the spotlight that we know Africa, African and Brick Cinema deserves. And we really hope that we're going to have a celebration of our filmmakers and the people who are involved in the filmmaking process. We want our actors to dress up, we want them to, to look good, we want a, you know, an Oscar situation, we want everyone to be like glamorous from top to bottom. We really hope that it's going to be the marketing tool that we've been looking for for African and Brick Cinema for a very long time. We want to get to know our filmmakers, get to know our actors, get to know our directors, get to know the film industry, you know, of, of, of African Bricks. Because I say, I mean, I just like Steven Spielberg, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. It has never been in front of the camera ever because you've gotten to know his work. And we want people to get to know African filmmakers with their actresses and their work. We have a student section, which is inevitably low budget. Um, we have a student section um, that we have international um, shots where student films and we contacted all the film schools in South Africa and we asked them to please bring in their top two films. And what we want to do is really show, like shine a spotlight on young filmmakers as well and make them aspire to something and for them to be in the midst of great filmmakers in Africa as well. Because everyone is going to tell you that, you know, like films are dead business or whatever and we really want them to be inspired to make greater and better films. So everyone who is going to win at Rapid Line is going to go home with this award and it's made by the same company that makes the Oscars and I'm in Chicago and has been making the Oscars since 1983. So this award is quite special because the base as you can see is the African symbol of excellence and everywhere you turn it around you see the symbol and the symbol is from the pre-literate Akan people of Ghana and it's really um, symbolic of anything that has reached that is beyond perfection 
and so you'll find it it's a seal of quality that is used in, in those communities and above it what we have is the lioness and the lioness does the most work in the pride as we understand lions to sleep and because it does the most work in the pride and it has so much focus we decided that we'd meet ferocious focus together with excellence you know um, and that we'd like to remind our filmmakers to never lose focus and to always make brilliant films and so this very very heavy award um, is just like our, our pride and glory here at Rapid Line and we'd like everyone who goes home with it to also just enjoy it as much as we have.